Cabinet has approved a seven-point policy document from the Ministry of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts to revamp the sector. This was disclosed by the Deputy Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Ziblim Idibari, during the launch of the Africa Digitization Conference in Accra. Despite poor infrastructure, tourism is still the fourth largest income earner after oil, cocoa and gold. Several sites have been left unattended to, though visitor numbers continue to increase. The African Digitization Center is aimed at improving activities in the sector. At the launch of the conference in Accra, Deputy Minister of Tourism, Culture and Creative Arts, Ziblim Edi Bari said government has allocated over 8.3 billion cities to rapidly change the fortunes of the sector. Building on the confidence for them to have the confidence that if they come and put their money here, it's not just about Ghana, it's about West Africa, it's about Africa, so you're talking about a billion, you know, uh, Population and, and all of this uh, will crystallize and, and I believe that by the end of the decade uh, we would have turned back and say that it was a good thing the president uh, launched the Beyond the Return. He disclosed government is in partnership with two South African investors to help drive economic growth and creation of jobs in the sector. He also indicated that a country is showing strong potential to become one of the most preferred destinations in West Africa. The chief executive officer of Chamber of Tourism, Odilia Ntiamwa, emphasized the need for stakeholders to adopt a comprehensive strategy to ensure the industry becomes attractive. It will be difficult for any investor to move from country to country, all the 54 African countries, to do that. And so we decided that it was time to just do this as a conference that will be a one-stop shop um, for everybody that wanted to invest in Africa to have a good um, menu to choose from. The Africa Digitization Conference is slated for Accra on August 24.